Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Uh, easy things to draw right here. And I'm going to go through really quick and make this a small little series of videos. And what I want to do is uh, I want to kind of go over digital painting for somebody who has never done it, you know, ever. You know, somebody's brand new and you're like, hey, maybe I want to get into it. So this first video, really quick video, I'm going to go over what you need tool-wise. Uh, because that's kind of the start of everything. Uh, first off... What's really important about this? Well, okay. First off, you gotta have a decent computer. Uh, I would say any computer made in the last three years will be fine. I, I, I mean, I haven't had a lot of trouble with it. You know, I can't give you, I can't give you stats on that because I just don't know very well. But I've never really had a computer that had issues unless it was older than eight years old. And by that point, you should really have replaced it anyway. Um, but anyways, Mac or PC, regardless, you know, it's fine. Whatever, that one doesn't matter. Uh, what does matter is this. This is a, uh, don't use the mouse, because I know a lot, a lot of you are on the mouse. Um, the mouse will not allow for you to have a lot of dexterity and control over it, because you're just kind of moving your wrist and, you know, moving your hand it, it, on this pad. It's so weird. And it, you, you can't do this on it. See how you have this, and you push down on it hard. See how you can see more of it, and then it slowly goes back. You know that control? You can't really do that with a mouse. So uh, you need something like this. It's called an. This is literally what I'm on right now. It's called an int. This is the the reason I showed you this too is because this is the bare minimum, in terms of money wise and just kind of like what you need. So, this is an Wacom Intuos three. This is what I'm on right now, and to me this is like the bottom of the like the cheapest. Uh, I think it's like sixty bucks online. I'll link you in the description, and uh, you can go check that out. But if you know this is a, the reason I say this is because you know it's someone that wants to dabble in it and wants to try it, I would get this. Um, into it's a Wacom Intuos three. I said I think they're sixty. I for to give you an idea, I bought mine for thirty bucks. It comes with a mouse too, in case your mouse crazy. But it's basically a pen tool, and this pad right here, this pad, it's pressure sensitive. You know, what I mean, you can push down it hard. And you get this really hard shape and lift it up. You know, there is a transparency to it. And that's the most important thing, right? Because you want to paint and or draw online. Um, so get one of these uh, before you even want a digital paint. I mean, really, don't do it on, don't do it on the mouse, guys. I just I can't recommend you do it on the mouse. Uh, I know you're saying, like, well, what if I want to do it? Like, uh, then I'm sorry. Go. I, I can't recommend that. <laughs> you, if somebody else has it, cool. But I can't. Uh, I just find it, it's just too much of a waste of time. It's so much easier with this tool. And as you lift it, you know what I mean? It'll still move, just like a real pen. So get one of these. And if not, a more expensive one. They kind of go up in price as well. There's some, that, there's some that you can draw right on the screen, right? Those are up to like 1000 or 2000 you know? That's why I'm saying, like, I only recommend those if you already like it. If you already love it, you love digital painting, do it. But I'm saying if you're brand new, get something like this, which is like 60 bucks to 100 to, I don't know. It's always, it's no, nothing above 200 I believe. You know, that would be good to start out. Program-wise, Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. Those two are very good programs to use. Mostly, everybody I know uses Photoshop because it's easier. It's more catered to painters anyway. Adobe Illustrator is more like doing uh, T-shirt art uh you know, really solid icons, you know, like like uh, like logos. It's more for logos. And, like, Photoshop can be more for manipulating images, doing paintings, you know, real painter-looking paintings. Um, there's also Corel Paint, I think. There's other programs, you know, but this is just what I've seen used a lot. That's all. Uh, anyways, that was video one. Just to talk to you about what to use. You know what I'm saying? The next video is going to be going uh, a little bit more on how to use it. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, what else do you want to know about digital painting? That'd be great. Uh, I'm going to be using Photoshop the whole time, just to let you guys know. Um, I might do a little bit of Illustrator, but I'm going to be using that just to... But, anyways, if you have any questions, post them below. I want to know because I want to, you know, just do a little mini series of videos on this, on how to get started on this. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I will uh, talk to you later.